Oh, look at that bacon, guys. Come on, flip it, flip it, flip it. Woo! <laughs> Uh, oh my lord, look at that. Looking and smelling so delicious. Soon enough, we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, and on and on we'll go. That looks about done, actually. We had some leftover lamb and fries. Oh my that bacon, look how that bubbling. You see that sizzling? Cheese on mages. Mmm, some bacon and eggs with some lamb in there. Woo, look at that pug. Oh yeah. So we're gonna eat some breakfast with some wrap. What is going on here? I don't know. Caesar and his buddies are like all on this Tyrannosaurus Rex. Yeehaw! This glare is so strong. <laughs> What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Yes, I got a haircut. <laughs> so, we're back on the lockdown again, so we can't go to any rivers, streams, waterfalls, we can't go hiking, oh my god. What are we gonna do? Die. <laughs> you're not gonna die so we're gonna be filming like for a couple days and of just what we would be doing here when we're actually not in adventures here what we normally do at home what we normally do at home so you guys are gonna get to see a little bit of that and the glares in our eyes where are our glasses our glasses are somewhere inside we hmm. should have worn them why are you hiding behind me because he glare <laughs> and we didn't we didn't plan this guys we, we're matching by accident <laughs> So, what have you guys been doing for this lockdown so far? <laughs> Put in Stay the comments. Stay safe, that's yeah. what you've been doing. Be sure to sanitize guys and take all precautionary methods as we always say, you know. Wear your face mask. And right now it's a lot to wear it in public now, so that's good. Yeah. You're too close to me though. Oh, sorry. <laughs> she doesn't like that. I actually got some pots and we're gonna transplant some of our tomatoes. Oh, by the way, let me show you what's going on with our big tomato plant right now. So y'all remember the trellis we built? I actually pruned and cut away a lot of these leaves, so a lot of breeze and stuff could go through, sun could get through the leaves, and we have some big tomatoes there. Are you guys seeing that? Are you seeing that? Look at this. More tomatoes are coming out, flowers are being pollinated. Some over there as well. And I think there's some on this side. There's tomatoes everywhere, guys. We have about 10, I would say. So these are the, the tomato plants here that we're gonna transplant and put in bigger pots because they're starting to get a little root bound. If you don't know what that is, that's when the roots start to entangle themselves and start to peek outside of the bottom of the pot. <sighs> like so. Catchback nice, huh? Yeah, look how nice this catchback, guys. The leaf cut ants destroyed this totally. And it's bouncing back. You know, I just cut away the bad parts and well, there's, there's men growing at the bottom here too. There's mint. Yeah. These little guys, you know what this is? These little things have been growing at the bottom of some of our plants. I was crushing them up a day and I was like, what is this? It smells like a seasoning. Apparently this little thing is actually baby mint. They actually reach other pots as well. <laughs> so our new addition, chili pepper, cayenne pepper, Ooh. and big leaf basil. Yeah. Does it smell? Yeah. No? Hmm, a little thing. A little thing? You gotta burst leave and rip it up and link together nice and... And eat it? <laughs> yeah, and eat it. These are just some new additions. Guys, these are dollar seedlings that I got from... That I... Dollar... <laughs> Guys, these are dollar seedlings that I got from a cup of garden on Solution Road, like I mentioned in my other videos before. It'll be on the right hand corner, on this side. Oh no, there's left. That's left. Side. Yeah, it's on the left hand side, opposite blue oh, wait, range. <laughs> But I'm so happy with this trellis, it's doing well. It's holding these tomato plants really good and rigid. So let's get to transplanting those things. Also, we have to prop up our lemon cucumber. The other day, it was when? Friday, so it was the rainfall really, really bad. And all our plants were falling. Trooping over. Trooping over, yeah. But none died, so that's a good thing. So nice, so lovely. Oh, look at this. It's really nice. We're also going to rearrange some of our plants because they're kind of out of order. And guys, look at this, getting closer. You see how this leaf is deformed? What happened was one of the bigger leaves were over it growing and shading the center growth of this plant so it kind of stunted it. So I found that out later on and I took off that big leaf so now it's going to probably thrive a lot better now. So make sure that all your leaves can hit the sun. <laughs> it needs wind and sun for it to grow properly, not shade. Okay, love, he's going to... Lock off that little sucker right there. There, use your fingernail. You don't need to get your shares. Oh, yeah, get your shares. Get your shares. Guys, we got a new shares. A new pruning share as well. It's actually our first pruning shares because we never had a reason to get one before. 
Very nice guys got it for two, two dollars at a cup of garden. Oh snip them off. Right, so when we take out these suckers, it's gonna focus more growth on the fruit itself and you'll get more tomatoes a lot quicker. Just to give you all a little sense of the small space we're working with here so we can't actually plant a lot. Check this out. Look at this space. Isn't that small? <laughs> Look at this space guys. It's a very small space we're working with. But we make it work. Yeah. Look at how much plants. A lot of seedlings. Ugh. Big bag of soil. Um. These are some pots I got from plant shop by KFC. Big Martin. Yeah, twelve dollars for one. Decent size. They're a little cheaply made, but we don't need them to be super strong, guys. It's just for plants. <laughs> A lot of ants. Look like they have things in their mouth. Probably eggs. Probably have a nest somewhere. Well, let's get some more soil in there. Call by the soil. Get them in there. Mm, nice soil. Nice, healthy, fresh soil. A lot of nutrients in there. Mm -hmm. Let's put in some soil to prop up this plant. Oh, it's been falling now. We might stake it as well. Okay. Put in some stones to help with the drainage. Look Yeah, guys, make sure your holes are fully. All right, so Lovey's gonna be doing this. So I like to do it in layers, guys. So some layers of the potting mix and some some all, layers of the soil. So it's real big, boy. Yeah, but don't worry, the soil I'll cover that. Right now, let's throw some. Um, I like to do it in layers. That's how the earth is actually. And now we take some of this and put more. Yeah. Come on, also these holes. Yeah, it'll happen. All right, let's get some more soil. Look at this. What is that? A stone? Okay. Oh, yeah. Break that up. Yeah, some good nutrients. Oh, is that mania? Playing with horse doo doo? Nah. Cow doo doo. <laughs> Cow doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> Might need to get more soil for our other project. Guys. Forgot to say guys earlier. Really, you know, so. Alright, let's get some orders. You can't use all these seed like mix. we mixing it. Oh, there we are. It looks like if I'm. Peel. Yeah. I got the wet of your whole ground. Yeah, so you want the soil wet whenever you're planting, just so the plants feel comfortable and they don't get any transplant sh shock. Right, so we have. Underneath here is damp soil, so they're already damp. So they're going damp soil into damp soil. Makes sense, right? Yeah. <laughs> Put mm -hmm. your fingers in between, mm -hmm. and then you turn it upside down, mm -hmm. and then squeeze the bottom until it pops out. Right? There it is. And there you go. I want to bury him up to about here. So let's take him out. I'm in trouble. Right. Let's take out a little more. Right. Good. That should be good. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, tomatoes grow roots all along this stem as far as you bury them. So that's a little trick. That good. Don't press too hard. You don't ever press too hard. Just a little bit. And put that stuff back around. And guys, it's always good to plant in the cool. There's no more sun coming back here, so we have some cool here that we could plant in. You really want to plant in overcast days or like early morning, late evenings. Yeah, let's get them up to about here. So you want to take off this? Yeah, I might actually take that off. Wait, let me let me take the. I'm gonna do it the proper way. Yeah. Snip, snip. So we're gonna take off this one as well because it's pretty close to the pot and you don't really want any leaves close to the pot or touch any soil because it'll get some diseases. And I believe this is an indeterminate type of potato. Hit me potato plant, <laughs> tomato plant. This is an now. indeterminate plant, tomato plant, which means that the growing time is extended pretty long. So they grow long and tall. Yeah, determinant potatoes. I mean, why am I saying potatoes? Determinant tomatoes. They have a certain height that they grow to and they just stop at that height. This is good? Yeah, guys, and that's, that's what he completed. Yeah, that's what he looks like. There you have it. So we're just gonna do two more and see you guys in a bit. Okay, so this is our tree pots with our tomatoes. They look lovely. We hope they grow big and nice like these over there. Like these big boys up here. Mm. Good luck, tomatoes. <laughs> tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> what is this pot about? That's we could transplant something else that's root bound. You wanna do that now? Okay. 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 <laughs> hey guys, so we have some baby shadow bennies that grew up here all by themselves. So we're thinking to see if we could take them out and put them in their own pots. I gotta pull back some of these wood chips. Risky business. Yeah. See if we could get this out. Oh. 
Yeah. No, it was not. No, it was not. <laughs> Look at this, guys. I got them out. Pretty easy. Simple stuff. I want a potato. Okay, what are you taking? Taking all the fun. Oh, oh my gosh. Take your time. Take your girl, old mint plant in here with him. <laughs> Mint and shadow when you grow into get all crazy. So we're not gonna pick from this until it gets bigger. Touche. Gosh. <laughs> all right, it should be good. Next to Put the big on. boy. You could, you could go there, can't you? No. Okay, now. Hey, let's see how that goes. Planting's a big part of what we do when we're not adventuring, right? Yeah, because we just need seasonings to cook. Yeah, and we don't we have. Use that all the time to do everything when we cook it. Yeah, we don't have to buy any seasoning. That's you see it? We've got all of it right here. Look at this. It's like a green corner, <laughs> except for that shot, that red shot is like just poking out of there. Rainbow shot, guys. That is so pretty. Hope it gets big. Hope everything gets big. Yeah. Oh, we're around. Wee, look at the worms. Look at these babies. Wee, look at them. Wash. Put them in our plants. Let's see if we can get them. These. Gosh, they jump in. Oh God, they fly. Look at this little, there's not an earthworm. Where's nah, that? It's a congri. Look, I see more than one actually. These are so hard to pick up. Oh gosh, they're getting away. No, nah, they can't get away. I mean, don't let them get away. They're so slimy. Gosh. Oh God. How do you pick up these things? Without hurting them too, huh? Putting this guy in here. He has a nice home in there. Help to make our soil nice. Yes. We want all the earthworms we can get. Yeah, so hopefully this works you just gotta find a way to prop this one up now yeah hopefully they climb climb along here yeah so just put his little friend here he's all windy going up here and he's already inclined to cling on so let's see how these cucumbers go so i planted some chili peppers about how long ago like a week like about seven days ago yeah they've just sprouted I just sprinkle a whole lot in here. I'm not the best with actually laying down seeds, to be very honest. So I was like, if they grow, great. If they don't, oh well. But it seems like they're growing. Little baby chili peppers here, all over. So when they get a little bigger, we'll take them out and put them in little pots to grow into nice healthy seedlings and then change out those pots and put them in bigger pots. So we could get some nice little chili peppers to go cute. By the way, we really hope that we inspire some of you guys to start planting. It's so beneficial. There's so many things that you can get seasonings we get a lot of seasonings because that's actually the first things we started to plant and we got peppers now we're gonna be getting tomatoes soon as you can see tomatoes are there guys so plant something it's a positive thing and i mean it's one less thing you're gonna need to buy in the grocery so save yourself some money as well all right so we just neatened up our area here so we just got this table donated as well from who auntie marilyn my aunt <laughs> Thanks to Auntie Marlin, looks well. We, the basil looks really nice up on top here. We don't have any flowering plants as yet, but we might get any future. Yeah, but it's, it's a nice little setup here. Real nice. Sweet. So we just got some iridescent paper here. Do you see it? Is it flashy? No, it's not flashy, but I'm seeing it. Oh my god. Right. Is it flashy now? Yeah. <laughs> this is to distract the birds because we just we don't want any birds eating our tomatoes or picking our leaves. So when you put or a any couple of, of our plants. Yes, yeah, so when you're gonna just lay them off. Yeah, that should prevent the birds from coming at our stuff. Let's see if it works. Yeah. <laughs> we can see if it works. You're gonna stand up here holding and wait for a bird to come. Well you never know. <laughs> my my hand up now to do. Mm, them fingernails preventing you from doing things. What fingernails? Exactly, I you don't even have. <laughs> yeah, so so that's what it's gonna look like. Nice yeah. flashy little thing. Yeah, well, all around it will look nice blowing in the wind too. Yeah. Hey guys, so we're gonna be making some fish wrap. Just have the fish here just drying off before it goes into the egg bag. And then we're gonna put some all purpose flour in here and we're gonna season it, right? So just gonna finish cut up this chicken and get to wrap making.
Hey guys, so we are now going to eat, so we'll catch you guys later. Of this vlog of this vlog yeah yeah guys so we have a couple things to do today might actually do a diy stool or bench or something out of some scrap wood that we just have to have laying around yeah because we have no chair to sit on out here just sit on yeah the ground. there's no chair guys there's a table but there's no chair yeah <laughs> so we might do that diy stool we gotta fix some cabinets just a little some little touches we gotta do and a friend of mine is supposed to pass and drop some soil for me he sells some really nice rich soil i can leave his number in the description if you're interested in getting some rich soil i mean the quality is really good so i can't wait to see it we have some planting to do that's why he's dropping some soil and we have some cooking to do yeah we do mm. and i think i hear him coming right now guys <laughs> hello good on okay. guys this is my good friend here marcus come to bring some soil for now so we're gonna do that plant and we spoke about earlier yeah yeah nice mixing. nice nice right. good stuff <laughs> take care buddy Thanks, man. Take it easy, man. Yeah, man. Take care. Nice, healthy soil. Real nice. So light. Very, very nice. Feel that soil, lovey. Feel that. Isn't that nice? I thought you said it'll stick to your hand. It doesn't. Look. Barely. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Look at my baby chili peppers. Woo! Oh, yeah. These chili peppers are sprouting really nice, guys. Yeah, look at that. Just now, well, in a little bit, maybe maybe a week again, I'll put them in um, some small pots so that it can turn into some nice, strong seedlings. But we have them out here in the elements so that they could harden up and these stems could get nice and thick because that's important for baby plants. Gotta get them hardened up out in the, <coughs> the wind, the sun, all of that makes the leaves stronger. Cookies! <laughs> Leave oh. that. Okay. Right, so we gotta prune some of these things. Little bad, little diseased leaves. Snippity snip. What else? That one there. Yeah, nice and close. Take them out. Don't want any diseases to spread to the other plants. Oh gosh, you're blocking my Yeah, video. well, you blocking the GoPro view. <laughs> GoPro's gotta see. We gotta this, show these guys. Yeah, soap? yeah, take that off. Those are like the first leaves. Those aren't the true, oh lord of mercy, those aren't the true leaves. Let's get our little thing down. Right. Actually, come take off this leaf, I don't like it. Yeah. That's um, too. Actually, take off this whole branch. Yeah? Yeah, right there. Good. This one? Looks yeah. like it has some disease, yeah. Let's kill this branch. Yeah, actually take off this one too. Yeah, we'll leave that for now. Tomatoes. You want to show them? Our oh, wood. <laughs> we don't know. We just have a bunch of scrap wood. We're just gonna try and do something with it. And we got all of these, all of these things. So I was thinking we could put these together as legs or something. But they're loaded with nails, so we actually have to take out all these nails before we start work with them. And some of them are split, so it's gonna be a real sketchy project. Real sketchy. But if it holds, you guys will see it. <laughs> okay, so we got this wood from Mona's Island. You wanna take it out for me? Yeah, sure. Uh, 
We might use this for the bench actually, a nice short bench. We don't want to make it too tall because the legs, I don't know if we have legs this long. Mm -hmm. So we make it like a little short, maybe about here so. Yeah. Yeah? So. And this is stronger. Yeah. Okay. We also have some of these for some support. So let's get to building. Let's get to building. Let's do the, um, this, this, this. This project. This project first. Mm. Okay. Can you feel it wrapped around your soul? Guys, taking all those nails was a little stress. I don't really have a plan. I just let you guys know that. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens, right? <laughs> You'll see it. <laughs> This is our wood that we got. Got the good ones. Pick that up, buddy. Let me hold the hammer for you. It's okay. I got it. <laughs> like I said, I have no plan. I have no clamps. I, I don't really have much at all. So I'm just going to secure everything with some 3 inch gypsum screws and let's just hope it holds. I'm going to sand it down after a little stain and a little varnish. And let's call that George. I mean, it's something for outdoors. Um, whatever. <laughs> That wood is tough. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, smell it, you smell it. I'm smelling it. I'm smelling it from it's all nice, of right? it. Nice, right? Straight enough. <laughs> Dude, this wood is good. It's good to know that the wood is strong. It's gonna mark up on that wood the same length, so all the legs could be this length. We got our six legs, I just did an extra two just in case we need more support. There we go. Guys, like I said before, I don't even have a workbench or tools. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Hoping um, we, well, we shouldn't fall after we fix the bench. It'll be, it'll be good. Yeah. Guys, I'm so sketch. I totally miss the line, but I mean, it doesn't need to be perfectly straight. Uh, this look nicer. Yeah, this wood looks like good wood. <laughs> Moon Island, Moon Island provided you. <laughs> Guys, I just broke my other drill bit like this and it's it's lodged inside of here. I don't know if that's gonna work. Guys, this is so sketchy. Oh my lord. Good thing I have another one of these. I ain't gonna wobble this one. All right guys, that's one side for the, the bench down. Two more to go. Oh, one more. I don't know. We have any side. Oh gosh, rain has come down. We gotta run. We gotta run. Guys, we got stopped. <laughs> rain is down. What do we have here? Some nice fresh shrimp, some cayenne pepper, purpose, purpose seasoning, Good. celery, thyme, hot peppers, pimento. Mm. Oh, let me just get some fresh garlic real quick. Garlic. Some soy. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Well, get your hands dirty. Get your hands dirty. Oh, we gotta sprinkle a little lime in there to kill the freshness. Oh, it doesn't smell fresh at all. This don't smell fresh. Well, a little droplets of lime. Oh my gosh. Guys, love, he doesn't like lime. That much. No. I love lime. If you like lime on your seafood, guys, just put that in the comments. I like lime juice. Yeah, lime juice is fine. That looks good. Yeah, that looks really good. What do you guys think? Does that look good? Some nice seasons from. Ooh, it's gonna be spicy and garlicky. Well, this one not too bad guys so it's just this one here how's it going on your car close got a couple of these things there you go they had magnet ones but skeptical about those for now you get like four screws or something yeah so this snaps into there so just like that so he's in there let's follow him Not to close in this one. Nice. 
Finally. Guys, so that bench is not gonna be happening today. Nope. <laughs> Tell them what happened. Matthew broke three of his jaw bits. Wasn't it like four? And then rain fell. Rain fell, kept us back. We started back at our wet wood in the rain. <laughs> and more drill bits broke so we gotta upgrade our drilling system to complete that stool but we will complete it we assure you and you will see it to be continued to be continued about the stool though you know yeah <laughs> right now we're gonna cook and then put in some dirt in our little troughs later on hope that nothing don't break with those yeah i mean if we have time we might even transplant some of them into that trough as well mm. yeah let's show you guys the trough actually hmm, i got distracted already these beautiful flowers and these are the troughs that we have to fill with some beautiful healthy dirt that we got from my friend Marcus thank you so much buddy yeah so we don't know if the dirt in here is good actually we know it's not good it's it's very hard guys hard and brittle it's more of that sandy type of dirt and we're just gonna dig it out and just start to fill at least maybe about two or three feet of this later probably transplant one or two plants yeah this dirt is so bad actually it's not that bad to be honest I think once I dig it up we'll be able to assess it better it seems like it will drain well oh my lord look at that mm. <laughs> so we're gonna have our lunch now our chicken and shrimp wraps and then we'll catch you later yeah guys it's smelling so good can't wait to dig in yeah. mm. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so it's day three and we're gonna check out the troughs. Check out the troughs. Yeah, right? they have some dirt we have to dig out to first see if the troughs have some drainage so that we can put some healthy soil, fill that and maybe transplant a few plants mm -hmm. or may not. First we have to see if the troughs is good. Have not been used in years. Yeah, it have not. The dirt is so like i don't know it's, it's like dead. a desert yeah. it's <laughs> let's get to it got the big bag of soil got some extra soil yeah. and we are babe hi um. yeah and we're ready to how's the soil looking here um it doesn't look too bad actually yeah it's not that bad so i think we should really mix it no but we need to yeah we have to take all the soil not all of it what we could put the healthy soil on top and then the stuff, the nutrients will drain down into these other soil and make and improve the quality of the soil. I don't like the soil. It, it actually is good for drainage. We should mix it. <laughs> Guys, so it looks like this has drainage, but the holes are very small, which makes no sense to me at all. You gotta have big holes for drainage, guys. Look at how small this hole is. It's like about three millimeters in diameter. Uh, I might have to drill more holes. Okay, first, let's get all this soil out of here. So we're just gonna start with this trough here first, guys, and catch you guys there when we got all the dirt out. Okay, so we cleaned it out and you can barely see the holes. Look at these holes. Who put these holes in here? They are so small. I want to drill bigger ones. Oh yeah. I didn't just drill the holes we already have. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good size. Yeah. Look at that size. You guys, somebody's going to give it to a rubber. Oh. Did you drill big all come true? Okay, so what happened? You look like you had it right underneath. No, it was not. Adding some stones, you want them generally around the holes to help the drainage. Oh, that's, oh my gosh. He cannot open a bag. <laughs> <laughs> it is not as tight, guys. It's them fingers. Ah. Don't close up on the fingers. <laughs> What? Right, so this is some remaining soil from last time. This one's the ones with the big clumps that we gotta break up and love. He likes these big clumps to break up here. I know you wanna break up one. 
Mm. So satisfying, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> a nice fifty dollars soil. Alright, this one is clearly more porous and it, it feels moist. To get rid of this soil, we just mix half there, mix half here, and then put the base and then mix the rest with it. So get to mixing. You know what? Let's just sprinkle a little layer of this. We're just mixing soil today, guys. Oh gosh. Look how I'm mixing this. Check that out. They like them apples. Hey look, you have fun. Yeah. It should be a stone. It's not a stone, I saw it already. Right? This already looks so much better. Yeah guys, I love this soil. So like it's not totally light, but it's still so light. <laughs> it has so much body and it also has a lot of sawdust in it so that the roots could breathe and they could grow freely. And you could actually set seeds in this, I believe. And yep, the sawdust will help with all of the little microbes and stuff in the, in the soil that will break down all that sawdust over time and just improve the quality of your soil. So we're gonna continue mixing and then we will catch you guys back when this is more or less full. So we brought some seedlings to plant. We got cayenne pepper, we got chili pepper, we got some okra babies. We're gonna set these guys in here and watch them grow. <laughs> Look at the color difference. Compared to this. Right, grab a handful. I'm gonna grab a handful too. Look at the difference guys between dead dried out soil and nice moist healthy soil. Spend a little money and get some soil. And my guy's a good guy. Could use my guy. All right, see, so he was almost going to get root bound, but he didn't. All the roots are loose. So this is probably like the perfect time to transplant this guy. So let's set him in there nice and deep. Slight press, slowly fill it in. All in the sides first. Don't want any air pockets. You can even tap your trees and stuff so you don't get any air pockets. I think that's, he's in there good. You know how I smell Slight it? press down. <laughs> I smell an hour incense from the bedroom. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Hi, right. how does he look? Comfortable, right? He looks very nice. Nice at home. Now to plant this baby. This guy. Oh, that's not a root. Never <laughs> mind. Right, so he actually could have stayed in this little pot a little longer. His roots haven't even reached underneath us yet. But I think it's a good time transplanting this one. Nice in there. He already has a flower and all. I just totally dated the flower. Already? You asking me? Why you don't know? <laughs> Listen to me, there's only so much research I could do, right? Mm. <laughs> Look how root bound this was. That's why you plant in loose soil. You could loosen up some of this. I saw it in a video on YouTube already. And mm -hmm. then you can set it down so the roots already get has the ability to stretch out. But the question is to put all three in here, kill two later on, or just separate this and just put one. What do you guys think? It looks like these could actually... You seen little hairs? Yes. I wonder if you could bury okra the same way you could bury tomatoes, boy. We should research that. Yeah, didn't research that? No, I didn't research that. Hmm. But should we put all three or should we separate it? <sighs> decisions, decisions. Because roots are gonna break. Actually, it's not that bad. It's actually separating pretty good. So I think I would leave two together and I'll put this one. Separate? Yeah. We should probably do some okra researching afterwards. But this soil is so nice. I can't stop talking about this soil. Really impressed with it. So this is the spread. Cayenne pepper, chili pepper, okra, 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 okra. How much is there? Two, four, six, six okras here. Hopefully they don't grow too tall. I've seen tall ones in on YouTube, so wish us some luck with this guys, but they look well at home there. Clearly, our bags of soil was not enough. Yeah, because guys. Because we had two buckets of soil. Two buckets of this dead soil. The $50 soil and a what? A the $50 bag and a little bit of some soil that we had before. And it still is not and enough. And it's still not even full. I really would want to put it up to here. I mean, later on we could. And then put some wood chips up to here. Because the wood chips keep in that moisture and keep the soil nice and moist. That's just what I, I just said that twice. Said the same thing twice. It's going to be a long project, guys. But actually, this is the end of this video. Yeah, because we ran out of soil and also our bench. Like what we said, Matthew broke four of his jokes. This was four or five. So yeah, guys, we have so nothing left for you. No, guys, <laughs> this is the end of this video. I broke four drill bits, so I gotta go to the hardware and get new bits. We have no more soil. No more soil. No so more food. We hope you guys enjoyed this video All of our us. Are finish. Okay. We have nothing left. I think they get the idea. Nothing. Everything gone. Guys, we still have food to eat. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is the end of the video. We hope you guys like this video and again thanks to all our supporters We appreciate you and all your comments. Hope it was not too long for you. Yeah, and tell us put in the comments What you guys have been doing in this lockdown? What 
you've been doing to keep safe what you've been doing to keep active yeah. have you been working out have you been planting you know guys there's so many things you can do take your, your children in the yard and and get them get them busy get them a broom and a mop yeah <laughs> teach them some some good hard chores yeah? <laughs> <laughs> please like share subscribe click the bell to be notified for more videos in the future and as always stay safe and stay at you're not saying it with me as always, stay safe and, and stay, stay adventurous. adventurous. <laughs>